Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Lily Moore. Today is Thursday, March 31st, and we're here with your morning announcements. This week is National Cleaning Week. The custodians at our school work very hard every day and deserve recognition for their hard work. If you see a custodian, be sure to take a moment and thank them for their amazing work on keeping our school clean. Attention school club leaders, if you're interested in participating in the upcoming indoor food fair, you must go to the informational meeting in the on April 6th at 3.30 in the MP room. Disneyland tickets are on sale now. They're available for seniors only. You can purchase them in the student store during both lunches, the front office, or the front windows of the leadership room. You will need to turn in a payment of $290, your trip authorization form, and to be cleared from the no activities list in order to get your ticket. The trip will take place on May 4th. Hope to see you there. Attention Wolfpack, CO has recently made changes to the tardy policy. Check the weekly newsletter sent out by the principal every week for more information. If you would like your picture in the yearbook, send them to the CO Instagram. The only criteria is that these pictures must only contain CO students that are in the same grade level. Attention juniors and seniors, the deadline to submit guest passes and purchase tickets for ball and prom is quickly approaching. Just a reminder that tickets are $45 and that guest passes are due to Miss Candy in the main office. Food will be available to purchase and there will also be a game and movie room if you choose not to dance. Now let's pass it on to Josiah for your sports update. All right, what is up Wolfpack? I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. March Madness is kicking off with their last four games. We got Kansas versus Villanova and Duke versus UNC. In school news, the track team went out to Davis yesterday, and although I could not find the scores, but from what I saw, we were doing God's work out there on the track. Also, our baseball team played Bel uh, Vista Del Lago, and our softball team played Ponderosa. Let's see how it went. Our baseball team played Jesuit yesterday, losing 1-8. That puts our record at 1-9. Well, let's see how our softball team did. Yesterday, they lost 12-0. Well, that puts them at 4-4. Kind of need a win here, guys. Let's see how the volleyball team is doing. And their record is 0-6. All right, well, Wolfpack, that's been your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Josiah. Just a reminder that the Career Center is open before and after school and during both lunches. If you want to use the Career Center during a class period, you must check in with that teacher and have an approved pass from your teacher. Attention seniors, the Elk Grove Youth Commission is hosting a scholarship opportunity for all seniors in EGUSD. If you're looking for some money for college, be sure to apply. Scan the QR code for the link or, the or check out their Instagram at Elk Grove Youth Commission and be sure to use your personal email when filling out the application, as school emails will not work. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm William Moa. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Prom, Prom Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.